Well, hello, everybody. Are you all ready for Christmas? Yes. Are you going to go home and run and go to bed? I bet this is the only night in the whole, whole year that you guys jump into bed really quick, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> well, I have a story that I'm going to read to you. And I've had this on my shelf, and I really like it. It's called God Gave Us Christmas. And if you watch the TV monitor and the people can watch up there, they can see the pictures t uh, as I read. But the one thing I'd like to say, I don't know if it's on here, is that the person who wrote this book, Lisa Berggren, had dedicated this to her godchildren. And then at the end she said, always remember that God gave each of you Christmas. But that's the whole point of this story is that God gave each of you Christmas. So I always want you to remember that. Okay. Mama, little cub, asked one night, who vented Christmas? Was it Santa? No, Mama Bear said. God invented Christmas. God gave us Christmas. Is God more important than Santa? Oh my, yes, much, much more important, Mama said with a smile. The next morning, little cub sleepily climbed into her lap. Can we go find Santa, Mama? He lives around here someplace, I think. Hmm, Santa is hard to find, said Mama. But we can go find God. He is everywhere. cried little cub. I didn't know we could find God. Oh yes, mama said. We can always find God. Little cub looked over her shoulder and whispered, can we leave them at home? Yes, papa will watch the little ones. You and I can go alone. We will go find God. I will see how he gave us Christmas. Yes, little cub, you shall see how God gave us Christmas. The next morning, little cub and mama filled their packs, kissed their family goodbye, and set off to find God and see how he gave them Christmas. They walked up to, to the top of one mountain and down the next and up another mountain where they could set up camp. Little Cub was so tired that she went right to sleep. But Mama nudged her while it was still dark. Mama, why are you waking me up? Because it's God, Little Cub. Come see. What is that? Little Cub asked in wonder as she watched the dancing lights in the sky. That is God at work, little cub. He sent his only son as a baby so that we would know light from the dark. Jesus is the light of the world, and Jesus is how God gave us Christmas. The next day, they arrived at a huge lake, and all at once, with a mighty roar, a chunk of ice cut away from the cliff and fell into the sea. What is that, little cub asked, covering her ears and leaning into mama. That is God, little cub. He's so powerful. He can command the water to freeze and the glacier to melt. He is mightier than any king on earth. And because he is all powerful, he made Jesus king of all kings. But Jesus was just a baby. How could he be a king? All kings begin as babies. God knew we would need someone we could touch and see and smell. Mama paused to sniff little cub's neck and making her giggle to understand just how much he loves each and every one of us. Mama woke little cub again before the sun came up. She pointed to the east at a star that changed from green to red to green again 
and shot out in many points. Is that God again? Little Cub asked, rubbing her eyes. Yes, Jesus is called the bright morning star. He is always with us. And he first came when God gave us Christmas. But what about Santa, Little Cub asked. Did God give us Santa? Santa Claus reminds us about many good things like generosity and care. But it is God and Jesus that we celebrate most come at Christmas. We always want to thank God for giving us Christmas. On the way home, Mama Bear stopped by a tiny flower peeking up from the hard, frozen ground. Oh, you are too early, little flower, she said. Little cub, Jesus is like this flower. God in our world, living where you wouldn't expect him, surprising us. Christmas is a lot about surprises. Mmm, like presents? Yes, Jesus is the best present of all, and God would have given us that present even if it was only for you. Only for me? Only for you, little cub. God gave you Christmas. Mama and little cub came upon a church, glowing with a warm light. Soft voices reached out to them singing. What are they singing, Mama? About the night God first gave us Christmas, when Jesus was born. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. Would Jesus have come for mean old Maggie the moose or grumpy old Frankie the fox, little cub whispered? Maggie, Frankie, any of us. Jesus is a present for everyone. Grumpy or happy, mean or kind, God gave us all Christmas. Little cub was glad to be back at home that night in her cozy bed. Thanks for showing me God, Mama. There isn't anything I'd rather do, sweet child, she said with a kiss. Night, night. Little Cub went to sleep and dreamed of bright stars and northern lights of a king born as a tiny baby, baby and angels singing over him. And woke up to Christmas. Yahoo, she cried. God gave us Christmas again. The end. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Remember, God gave you Christmas. <laughs>